speaking maybe a little bit of deep speaking and whispering as well so we get a little bit of everything these ones are, this trigger is part of one of those interesting sounds strange sounds to trigger you but I love these little tiny plastic silicon textures of the top it's kind of like a hairbrush, but when you go like that, but better.
Disco tip trigger, then, then this one is a good one for you. I like this one, it's kind of like a bit of battery of raindrops, a bit of passion everywhere, maybe. and you're being pampered and you get a neck rest put around you or the same again with the airliner and once again the neck rest that comes out and I'll put it around you I don't know what it is but I just love the sounds, the texture and everything about this neck rest it's so it's Very reminiscent to like waves, beach, shingles, like mapping waves on it.
down some notes. and so on. Feels 
sounded like you're a robot or something, but it's satisfying. And you can do cool things with it as well, like twisting it around. Sounds good. And I do it with the other side. It's not a really amazing visual trigger, but it's triggering quality is one of my favorites. So I'd like this, especially with the cranial nerve exam. So you would flick the end and then I'd place it on you. the vibration still then um, well if you can't then you let me know and then it's part of the cranial nerve examination or thorough uh, nerves throughout all of your body and the classic uh, legend of the sandwich breast guy and uh, he uses this momentarily and that when I first saw it really triggered me Of microphones, but it's just any excuse to use this. I like that sort of sound, and it's just satisfying. But if it's a haircut or a shave or something, I prefer just the touch on the actual hands as opposed to gloves because it makes it seem like there's not that intimate thing. If you're doing something with the gloves, it's like something that the rude English gentleman would do. You just you wouldn't want to touch you, so. You'd wear gloves and anyone else would just, I don't know, lather up your beard with their hands. So, this is what we want. Give it a little shake. whether it be a shave or what else <laughs> when it's a shave and you're lathering up the shaving cream or foam whatever's been used it's a very satisfying sound I don't know why it just really is very comforting and you know that it's going to be applied on the face and it's going to be and shave experience so that's why it's always been a recurring theme on my videos like the barbershop I think it was probably one of the earliest ASMR videos which I did back when I started in 2011 I think but that theme and that experience
These are very much a recent um, find which I didn't realize would trigger me and make me feel very tingly. It's not like I trigger myself, but you, you can feel it. So if someone else was doing it, then I would feel it. And this, the texture of the bags and everything, it's very satisfying. That packaging and all that packaging goodness which sounds really pleasing and ASMR-y for me. These are probably one of my favorites. So, a fan favorite which keeps cropping up in previous 
previous video is a long time ago and this trigger has been utilized I think fully and when I got it there's something about the sound it made which was angry and it's a little bit striking as well but it's these red gloves I still think they're an amazing trigger and the sticky leathers of it it's kind of like really heavy duty gloves you've only got to move them a little bit and they make a great sound Maybe it's a sort of, if this would be like, perhaps it's like a Darth Vader element where you just, I don't know, but to me it's very satisfying. I'm not sure how you'd utilize this in a roleplay. Um, maybe like a futuristic something where you need heavy duty gloves or building something. I don't know. But I mean, it's hard to put them in a roleplay of some sort. I don't think I've done it before. But these sticky gloves are a little bit striking. Crimson red. I'm not sure what that's crimson red is for. I don't know. Just red. <laughs> and it sort of stimulates the senses in your ears. Left ear. No idea what number we're at right now. I think we're on that was seven, perhaps. Not sure. But one of my favorite favorites is I mean tapping is a great trigger which I love. Um, but it's not the tapping, but we do a little bit of tapping. Just to throw something extra in there, part of this tingle compilation. Paper has been a massive trick of mine since as long as I can remember. And just something about paper and, and books and things like that. It just I find it very satisfying and pleasing. So it's almost like a nice thick piece of parchment paper. Get a quill, stick some ink on there. Everything that you see here is probably, you know why, there's been certain types of videos like the library one I've done a couple of times and the school teacher professor related ones. Um, so you get to utilize all the stationery, papers, books, pencils, all those good things. So the page flipping, page 
paper sounds top top triggers and I love it when there's such real sort of theme going on in there small videos they make me feel great and they never fail to trigger me and it's all dependent on the books as well I mean old books tend to do it for me something with a thick thick binding and like your jotting notes this to me is like the book that Indiana Jones's dad Henry kept and kept all his secrets with the holy grail in there and you take the book around and look it up and find out all the things he's put in there over the years and Thing that he's collected and information, I think, because the book, in that sense, contains knowledge, and that mixed with the sounds and, and that sense of wonder almost. I'm not an avid book reader, but some things really I get, and uh, that sort of aspect about a book um, connects with my trickery self. already it's just improving the overall look in hearts shall we say but each scissor has a purpose and works its magic and they all sound great I mean this one sounds a lot more relaxing than the other one and it's just satisfying but it's gentle 
headdress will work around you. It's very sleepy. You sort of follow the momentum of that and feel more relaxed. I mean, with a comb, then scissors have a companion, and the comb always makes it sound good when you're pulling hair and then slipping across, and you pull the hair out and again. And sort of interlocking sounds of the scissors and the comb that's you Would work around just there if he keeps still there and a little bit of snipping there, maybe a little bit of spray. And now I remember we are on number nine. So these are one of my favorite, all time favorite ASMR triggers. Scissors are the wonder of ASMR. This is the thing which I missed out. So you get these in all sorts of scenarios, ASMR scenarios, and that would be the addressing or washing or something, modeling, I don't know. But even by themselves. spray coming out and a plastic bottle and just all the little noises that it makes. This is one of the top I think is my triggers. And this is why I've done this in the past where you have tons of different spray bottles. It's not just the tiny ones, it's the big ones and some that release water quickly and I think it's these just little spritz which I like. And once again it's kind of shop related and you would use that to put over the hair and work around so if I'm I don't know using you but using you here and just doing stuff like so and if you just 
for me now. Thank you very much.